What's going on guys? So today's video, I wanted to cover something about GAC yet again, but this one is going to be a bit different. I'm going to be looking at a specific person's roster and from there, we're going to kind of navigate, you know, his defenses and offenses. And also we're going to see um, what he should be focusing on for those counters, you know, with relics considering and concerning relics rather. So this is a uh, this is, uh, we're going to go into here, the allies, going to keep, or copy and paste that, search it, no player found, what? Hang on, let me see here, let me see, wow, I thought that would have worked, guess not, huh? Okay, let's see if it works now, oh my gosh, <laughs> come on, there we go, alright, beans and cheese, okay, so, this is him. We're going to uh, just check out some of his offenses and defenses here um, that he that he shared with me. I hope that he's okay with this. Um, but the reason I'm choosing him and not somebody else is because he actually is a little bit more. I would say um, he's more of an average player. He's not you know a super super top tier player. He's not super super low. And I would feel and I would probably say for my audience and people who watch this channel, they're a bit around this guy's. GP, his, his galactic power, and I think uh, Beans and Cheese said he was in Div 2. So what that means is his teams, I guess, a place. He has to set, I think, eight teams um, when, we're, when we're looking at, you know, only only characters and no fleet. So this one's a bit different. I think he has to set seven, but typically it would be eight. So we're going to look at some of his defenses and offenses here. So for me to do that, let me swap over here and share with you guys what it is. All right, so let's swap over here and share with you guys what this is. So let's do that. Boom. Okay, so this is his offense. You can see here um, he has a gas counter with CLS and old Ben. So and 3PL, of course. This is a good counter. I would say that he has the, probably the best relics I've seen on somebody um, in, in around his, his div Div 2 and his GP. Um, this is a great. This counter should work almost all the time versus um, General Anakin Skywalkers in the 501st. One thing I would probably say for him, though, is he probably would want to um, kind of consider if the gas is modded for super, super high protection and super, super high defense. Although that should still work no, no, like regardless, like no matter what, because of how high his relics are. So I think that's probably like a very, very, very high percentage win versus gases so i think we're good there the next one here is his jtr so this one's a bit different he doesn't have you know r2 or he doesn't have 3po because you can see he just uses 3po up there so what we're doing here and he has actually bb8 chopper finn and trooper so i would say this is probably around you know bounty hunter type of level of boss maybe i probably wouldn't use this versus a jango fet if the jango fet is modded um, well and correctly um maybe this would work versus first order um but if i were using him and, and rather using this it's not that great of a counter because it's kind of limited with what, like what you have here. Um, and we'll go in, like we said, we're, we're going to go check out some of his resistance here in a little bit. And just everybody in every part of his, his roster, see really what he's missing and what he can kind of focus on. But for this, I think he's really good on the Relic with JTR. It seems like he might be going more for the Ray, for the Galactic Legend Ray. So that's totally fine. Ideally, I would like R2 with my JTR since I don't really use him anywhere else. And if you are farming, like we just mentioned, the, the new Ray... For sure have the new resistance heroes on your team because they make a huge, huge difference. They're able to actually kill um, JT, or rather, Django Fett's a lot easier. Um, so I would highly recommend that. I'm not too sure what else this encounter besides, you know, a boss lead or something else. Maybe Karth probably. So that's that. And then this here, this boss lead um, and Watt, that can counter any, pretty much any, I would say, um, Relic Night Sisters. Um, if you do not want to uh, use Watt, and let's say, for example, you're fighting somebody in GAC who doesn't have a fully maxed or fully relicked out Night Sisters team, which most people, I would say, at his GP level at 4.1 in Div 2, um, won't have that, you know, fully relicked out Night Sisters. So, and, that, and even at my Div, I've really hardly ever seen any of But what I would say for this is if you have Watt here to use um, and you see those, you know, not maxed Night Sisters, let's just say the only relic is on Asajj and everybody else is like year 12. Only use, you know, the three there, but also don't use Watt and toss in, you know, a Zam Wessel or a Dengar or other two bounty hunters. Those are just my two other favorites because with Bosk, you can regenerate a lot more HP and protection with all of those, those debuffs, you know. So in that circumstance and you're fighting, you know, non-maxed Sisters, don't use Watt there. Use him somewhere else. 
And a great place to use him is actually going back into the CLS team up above because um, in there, you can actually keep 3PO for the, you know either a JTR team or a different kind of team um, you might want to use it even for like Padme to counter Darth Revan or something like that. So that's one thing to look into for the modding there. You got to just make sure that you mod your Watt. You have a six star Watt. You want to make sure that he's modded so that he's a little bit more tanky. But I mean, you can already see here that he can't do that very well because of the Relic 7 CLS. So maybe you can actually keep using um, 3PO there and maybe find a different use for Watt if you wanted to. So, I mean, it's not that bad of a deal breaker there, but this is other his other offenses. So here we go. Perfect, perfect gears on his Treya Scion. You can easily 2v5 any bugs in the game. So that's that's pretty awesome. Um, you know, really quick, some so this is about relics and you know, and which ones you should probably invest a little bit more into. For these three right here, he has a perfectly um relic, I would say, <laughs> see last team. His JTR looks pretty good. Um, once you start working on, you know, the others, the other parts to this team. Um, throw a little bit more relics on JTR, I would say, but that's probably a bit further away for him. Um, and if you want to make sure that the Knight Sister counter can be way more consistent, I would definitely work on your Django Fat, getting him a little bit more relic up. Relic four or five, I think, is a very, very safe spot. And then now coming over here versus bugs, if you really want to make this very, very comfortable, you know, no matter what, um, I would work on getting them relic three, four, maybe five. Um, you already have a Relic 3 Scion here, so that's totally fine. Um, and, and like I said, at your 4.1 Div, or a Div 2 level, 4.1 GP, you should totally be able to beat pretty much any bugs. Um, that's great. That's a great feeling to be able to counter that team with like 62 banners, so that's great. And then coming down here, we have Kira, Nest, and Hoda. This is another great little combination of clearing out, you know, um, a bit more of a heavy buff team or buff heavy teams, you know, like a JKR without Bastilla or a Padme team. So this is one I really like a lot because he's only at 4.1 GP. But if somebody does, does happen to, you know, place a Revan team without Bastilla, you can easily counter this or counter that with this. And if they place Padme, easily counterable as well. And if you can use this counter versus a Padme, well, guess what? You just freed up like another, another counter, you know, maybe like you uh, we're going to use EP or maybe you're going to use, you know, your own JKR or something like that, or maybe you want a mirror, whatever it may be. You can actually free that team up, use them on defense or keep for offense for another team for higher banners. So that's great. So the next one here is his Geos. So he's a bit lacky here on the Geos. I would say this about regarding Geos, no matter who you are, um, Try to get them at least gear 12 because they're, they're using a lot of different aspects of this game, you know, from TBs to GACs, you know, they're really, really great. And with getting those, those Watt 10 Boar Shards. So with these guys, I would probably get them, you know, gear, gear 11, gear 12, or uh, gear 12 for the most part. Try to focus GBA. He's the main dude there because you actually get another pre-taunt there early on with that Zeta on the Unique really really benefits this team greatly so if you can get him you know gear 12 um, and try to get these other guys you know gear 11 gear 12 that'd be perfect you can beat the accolade you can beat um the watt mission and you can you know easily either place them on defense or an offense wherever you want to use them and you should you should still have a really solid team there as well so that's one probably aspect i would probably work on but if you're working on some more legends for the requirements probably hold off a little bit um so that's that team um, and then co coming on down here, um, we got some of his other teams, Padme. So Padme team right here looks very, very good. Um, I wasn't told where he uses them, but from what, I, what I've been seeing here, I can probably get a pretty dang good idea of where he's using them. So if I were him, I would probably use this. Um, this is his offensive team. So I'd probably use this not versus a uh, Darth Revan or Malak, not versus a Gas, but you'd probably take out, you know, maybe another Geo's team, a mirror match perhaps, um, JKR perhaps, some other of those, you know, not S tier teams like the meta teams like Darth Revan, Malak, or Gas, but it can definitely beat all the other teams in the game um, with like what he has here. Um, really, really good relics on everybody that um, you have relics on. If you can though, try to get your relic on Ahsoka because she is going to be really, really helpful here with even more DPS. A lot more HP, making sure that she that she survives like around a lot longer. And then other uses outside of GAC TW, you have a really really great mission you can do in your TBs, and also she has a great ship with a the, the fleet with a negotiator. So that's a must. Um, so that's that. I think it's pretty pretty uh, solid actually. Um, don't worry too much about Barris at the moment because she might be needed a little bit down the line once you get Cam unlocked with a whole Cam in that team. So don't worry about that right now. Um, coming down here, though, is the last one I think, pretty sure it is, uh, for his offenses, which is EP. 
and, and BSF countering, I would say, I'm pretty sure it is, countering Grievous's. So this is very, very optimized gear with like what you have. This should be pretty much almost any team that you might encounter. One thing to note though, is that you don't have a Zeta on IPD. So if you don't have that Zeta, it's gonna be a little bit more RNG dependent with landing those stuns on Grievous and everybody else and making sure that you land those shocks early on. Because without that Zeta, you're pretty much having to hope that you land those or else they're going to get the buffs back. But with the Zeta, you don't have to worry about that with, with the target lock. It makes it so the RNG kind of disappears a little bit more. Making it so it's a lot more clear and concise. So that's that. Um, EP, great, great relic here. Um, in this counter, you don't want to relic him up too much or else he'll, he'll do too much damage actually and lower Grievous so that he takes his turn or he rather he, he marks somebody and then it's a lot harder to kill him. Um... Bastilla, I mean, gear 12, I think, is totally fine as long as that she is very, very quick, 300 plus. Gear 13, I don't think she needs to be high relic, but at least get, me, get her gear 13 to make her the fastest. Um, Darth Revan, or Darth Nihilus, actually is a great, great gear 13 here because he gets a lot more HP and protection, some speed, making sure that he's not, he does not die to an AoE. The other two here, TIE Fighter Pilot and IPD, they, they're okay at this gear level, but the Zeta on IPD, I think, is very, very important here to this counter. But I think that's pretty good for your, your GP and where you are. So, coming on down the line here, we got a few more to go for his defenses. So, his defenses here, very, very good Night Sisters. I, I like this team a lot. Night Sisters are a great, great team. Um, so, um, he has relics on pretty much everybody here. If you were beans if you didn't want to use this team on offense um i would really really recommend getting your dock up up a little bit more relics relic five six if you wanted to really push it get a max dot relic seven um that way you can actually use this team versus a grievous team and, and use perhaps your bastilla team or i mean your your ep and bsf team somewhere else it's a great great um little bit of a switcheroo there and also keep in mind guys throughout this entire kind of figuring out this stuff Always look at the GAC history of your opponents because you can really figure out where their weak spots are. So, for example, if you know that they don't really have a great Grievous team, I mean, you can either use this versus that, or if you wanted to, use your EPBSF, and then you can have a different use for these guys because these guys in offense, they can't kill a lot, but the downside to that is that they don't give a good chunk of banners back to you. That's the only thing that's kind of problematic there. But I think you got great relics here. To, wherever you want to use them, they're great, I think. But if you wanted to really increase this team's viability, you for sure got to get a bit higher of a relic on Daka because she's a reviver. She needs to be a little bit more tanky. So that's great. Um, coming on down the line here, we got Revan. So this is one I was looking at bit, bit behind here. I would, I would really say um, for most of the uses, if you are using, like we just mentioned earlier, with your, your EP BSF versus that team versus Grievous, you don't have to worry about your Revan too much, but this is a defense-oriented team that you have built. So you're, you're, you're okay for the most part, but the relics that you can potentially put on your Yoda and your Jolie are so, so, so awesome. I mean, I cannot recommend them enough. You get so much crazy damage output with, with Yoda and the survivability and viability of, of your Joe Lee is going to go through the roof. Um, Revan is pretty much just like a Yoda, but not as much um, damage you know, output, but he's very, very good as well. A lot more protection with the Relic as well. Don't worry too much about Bastilla just yet, but those three, you know, the main three here, Revan, Yoda, Yoda and Jolie, very, very good ones I would recommend, but since you're using on defense, you don't need to worry about them too much on offense. I think you're pretty good for the most part. Um, defensively, this would take a very, very solid team as well. So I think you're doing a good job of utilizing these guys on defense. So great job, actually, um, for your whole strategy. Um, but if you did want to um, increase this team, for sure you want those relics on those guys that we mentioned. So this is another team I can see here down below. Uh, Chewbacca, a Clone Wars Chewbacca lead with a crazy defense gain with other scoundrels. So this team here pretty much forces... A very strong team as well, like a JTR, a Revan, a Night Sisters, a Treya Scion with Nihilus. You know, very very hard team to kill because of their, the survivability on your L3 and your Vandor. So this is actually a great top tier team. Um, you don't really need any relics on anybody else here. I mean, you already have a relic seven Vandor and L3. If you didn't want to increase this viability of this team, like, you know, a whole lot, for sure, um, Stormtrooper Han. And, uh, you know, that's a great one to use as well um, in the CLS team if you want to get him gear 13. You need him to counter gases as well. So, I mean, great, great use of your, your, your scoundrels here. And I'm pretty sure you got this from Clash. So, shout out to Clash, man. Good job there. Um, you know, not a whole lot to chat about there because the relics are pretty much already there on your Vandor and L3. So, 
Going on here, you got your Newt team. Um, I can actually see here that you're kind of weak on your Separatists, which is totally fine because you probably saw that the gas and the the you know the the newer people that are a little bit newer to the game are a lot stronger than the gas or than the Grievous teams and the, and the droids. So that's okay. Um, and you don't have gas, like that's totally okay as well. But with with the Newt team here. Um, you're good for the most part with your GP. Um, if you did want to, you know, keep working on B1, that guy is an insanely incredible relic if you do want to go that route. Um, he can be used in like a team like this, or if you wanted to, you can use him with Grievous, a very standard Grievous team actually, and you'll do fine just there. But if you don't have him, you know, um, you know, seven star relic up, probably don't want to use him in, in Grievous team. He's going to just not be as, as great, you know. So this is a great use for him actually. Um, good stuff actually. Very impressed with that little bit of a switcheroo that you might throw in your defense, so that's great. Um, next team here, Shock Team, the clones, like I just kind of seen and, and mentioned, is that you don't have a great, you know, Separatist or clones. It's totally okay. Um, and what I would probably do here, if you wanted to increase any relics on anybody, couple guys I would do that first. Um, fives is one because he's going to be great in a cam mission down the line. He's going to be great with the gas team in the 501st. And in this team, he is going to be a pain in the butt. And there's actually, if you wanted to think about it in a kind of cheesy way, <laughs> if you have, you know, gear 13 fives um, and you're, you're, you're putting on defense, right? If perhaps the enemy that is fighting you in GAC, if they kill Echo or Rex a little bit too early, they're going to, or re, re, um, wow, Fives rather is going to give out all those crazy stat boosts. And I mean, the team's going to be great on defense. Um, so, I mean, that's a really great little bit of strategy if you wanted to go that route. Um, the other one I would probably get relics up is Shock T because it's kind of similar ways of the, the Fives, but I do really like Shock T, not just, you know, in clones, but she can do a lot of work. In, in, a, in a Jedi team, you know, Revan, Bastilla, even Padme. I mean, this is an incredible character. I mean, the uses you're going to get out of her is just off the charts insane. So, great, great. Um, I mean, I'm just looking at this. I mean, these are great teams for defense for your GP. Um, even though, you know, they might be, you know, not, you know, year 12, they're still great options. So, good stuff, man. This team I'm seeing now, oh my gosh, Wigs and, or, uh, well, yeah, it's Wigs, but it's Biggs and Wedge. <laughs> Relic 6 and Relic 5. I'm not sure if this was for fun or if you really were into the ship game. Totally fine what's, totally fine whatsoever. I mean, it's okay. But if you really wanted to increase this team's viability, I would for sure get your R2 up to gear 13. It's a must-have in your GACs um, for the number crunch. You know, being able to get some more damage output. Not, on, not just only on your R2, but on all your other... Um, your, your teammates, you know, your resistance, your, your droids, your, your rebels... Galactic Republic, all those guys, you know, great, great use of the Gear 13 there. Bigs and Wedge, you know, that's fun, um, but probably don't want to use them too much. I don't even think this might get too many holds, or might, I don't know. I could be a bit off there, but for sure I would say get your R2 relic up. A sneaky one here, though, I think would be kind of cool is your Scarif Rebel Pathfinder. You don't need it, but it would be really, really interesting to see how that guy works, um, especially with, you know, the revives here with, with uh, what's his name, uh, Hoth Han, the... the Rebel Commander, whatever, I don't even know what it, whatever his name is, that Han, you can, the, the Hooded Han. So that's that, and the last little bit here, you got your Darth Vader with Ewoks. So here, I mean, I think this is totally fine where they are. Ewoks, you got 3P, I'm pretty sure, don't worry about them anymore after that. Um, they're on defense though, so they are very easily nestable, but if you are keeping something for your offenses and you know for a fact you can get some good high banner wins, go for that route. Um, your Vader team, however, probably is not the best for defense because you really, in my opinion, you should always have your Thrawn available for offense if possible. So maybe if you wanted to, you can kind of swap up your defense and offenses and use them a little bit differently. But if you were to use this team for how you're using them now, I think it's totally fine with, with, with where they are. So that's that. So now coming back into game, we're going to finish up this by just looking at what he actually does have. Um, this is going to be a bit of a lengthier video, but I think you guys might find this a bit more useful than my other videos. So, let's just go through the list. Bounty Hunters. They're actually 501st first. So, 501st. Let's see him. So, he's not even really there. Um, just like the whole farm, you got to go through that. I think he'll be totally fine down the line. Bounty Hunters are totally fine here as well. Um, droids with Grievous. You got to work on your Grievous. Um, try to get these droids up if you can. I think the biggest thing here, though, is to see your resistance, to see where they are. So, it does not look like you're going for the new race. So, if you're a bit farther behind, don't worry about them just yet. 
I think I would hold off for the moment. So if that was the case, go all in on your 501st and try to get gas unlocked. Um, I think that's probably the best bet and work on your droids as well. You're really, really far off on getting this new race. So I probably wouldn't worry about it too much. However, if you could get, you know, even a three star new fin right here, get him up gear 11, you know, that'd be great. Um, with his Zeta, this guy can shred in your JTR team that we just saw earlier. And he's a great, great character in that team. I cannot love him enough. Um, and if you wanted to, you know, you can use R2 in this JTR team on offense with the new Finn, with BB-8 and with JTR and another fifth there, it's going to be able to beat a lot more tougher teams for you. Um, just something to consider there. Um, and coming up down here, coming up here, let's see. Um, first order, I'm kind of curious. So your first order do need a little bit more love here. Um, like I said earlier, I mean, just previously, really, <laughs> you're really far behind on these, these Galactic Legends. So I would really focus down... 501st and also your other guys um, for the the droids and getting gas unlocked first because you're just so far away um, you know what this video is kind of turning into uh, Ross review it's really not supposed to be this is more for GAC and what relics I would probably work on um, but really if you wanted to really just kind of take a whole just take a take all of it in pretty much of what he needs or what beans would need focus on for you know, all these different teams, focus on the person that is going to be the most useful. We've done videos previously on my channel going and regarding those people for different for different teams. You gotta really focus on that person. Um, if you don't have anybody else, you know, a good enough gear level, like you know, if you were to just consider it having, you know, for example, a gear 13 GPA, but still have like a gear 11 spy and all these other geos, it's probably not gonna be that great of an investment. I'd probably equal it out, gear 12, gear 11, all across the board. And then once you get the gear on everybody else, then you would want to invest maybe gear 13 into your, your boot alpha. But I think this is pretty solid for um, for a video, honestly. I think he's great on all these relics that he didn't invest into. Probably wouldn't want to get Wedge or Biggs going gear 13, but it is what it is. Um, you know, how do you, you got to have a little bit of fun here. You even got Akbar. Okay. <laughs> I see you. I see you. But I mean, honestly, if you were to consider other ways to go about your GAC, always want to check out the GAC history on your opponent. It's going to be a great, great um, tool for you guys out there to figure out where you want to use these guys um, and uh, and how to utilize your characters the best for GAC. Um, so definitely check that out before you even go and set your teams. And, you know, making sure that you have enough to clear the board on offense is super, super important as well. So with that being said, I'm going to hop off here today, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, share it around. And if you guys are new here to the channel, feel free to sub. If you did not know what's going on already, we have a, drive, a hyperdrive bundle going on, which will um, be announced who the winner is in a couple weeks, maybe two, three weeks from now in a stream. So you got to be on that stream if you do want to win it. Um, besides that, you know, that's all for today. Um, be sure to, if you want to support me, feel free to hit up our Patreon and our channel memberships as well. Um, besides that, the last thing here, we have a Discord down below if you want to check that out. We can chat around, help you guys out a little bit more there. And uh, I think that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, see y'all later. Peace out.